Hey everybody, it's P-Dubs. Thanks as always for hanging out upstairs with us and for checking out the channel. A lot of viewers who follow my podcast show, Super Game Room Dudes, on Fridays, as well as uh, the Multicade Monday show. On the last Multicade Monday show, we talked about the fact that um, At Games didn't really provide us any videos yet, any kind of like video footage or anything regarding this micro pinball machine that is going to be up for pre-order starting tomorrow <laughs> pre-orders go live for those who have early access to the national owners day events on thursday september 1st as well as as you can see uh general pop general people it goes live on september 2nd for everyone else if you don't qualify for the early access which we've gone over in the prior and the prior videos so um at games uh finally uh they they heard us uh you know they heard viewers uh us mentioning it to them like hey man we need some kind of footage of this micro pinball machine if you want to sell something you got to show it right uh so they put out a video on their youtube channel they also sent me a copy of the video file i'm gonna play it for you right now let's take a look at this micro pinball machine and then come back with some thoughts right after this Okay, guys, we're back. Make sure you give me your honest feedback and impressions in the comments section after the video's over. So I was a little disappointed to see that, uh, you know, it was a, a... The video was really hard to make out the device. I, I was really hoping for some better footage of it or something of that nature. What I can confirm, though, when it comes to this product uh, is that it doesn't appear that there's going to be legs for this particular product, at least available anytime soon. Um, At Games did confirm with me... Uh, I asked them, I said, hey man, are you guys going to be selling legs separate for this thing? Because it does have the bolts for the legs. You'll see it on the pictures here. Uh, and they did mention that uh, adding pinball legs specifically for this micro pinball machine would be something they would be looking into. But it doesn't look like it's a top priority item or anything that's going to be released anytime soon. So unless you source your own legs elsewhere, um, I have a feeling that this is just going to end up being a tabletop pinball machine for now. Now, keep in mind, this is going to be on sale for National Owners Day. However, it is, uh, they do have uh, this listing on their website with the normal price. But let's ignore the normal price for right now. You'll notice they have two variations here of the pinball machine that you'll be able to pre-order during National Owners Day. They have, on one side, you have the Space Invaders artwork, and on the other side, you have Bubble Bobble, because if you're <laughs> not familiar, At Games, of course, has released their own uh, exclusive pinball games uh, from Taito, made by Magic Pixel. Uh, so it makes sense, I guess, to have that artwork on these as a pinball machine. Most people are used to seeing those as arcade games. And then they'll also have this uh, multi cade artwork design, which I gotta be honest, I like the other design better. This one's okay, uh, just not great in my opinion. This side looks pretty good to me with all the blue coloring. I'm not a big fan of this side. I like the red and, you know, the beige and the green. They kind of match the green up here in the red. This matches, but this big yellow triangle here of Bubble Bobble doesn't really do it for me. It doesn't really do it for me. I think it kind of makes it stick out. But then again, it's all opinions, baby. It's all opinions. Um, but they are going to be selling two different versions. One with multi cade artwork and then, of course, one with more solid artwork on the other side. Now, keep in mind, when it comes to your National Owner's Day uh, these pinball machines, wh whichever one you want to buy, um, if you decide to pre-order, uh, the normal retail price for just the pinball machine is $449. It will be on sale for $329. You do have to pay shipping. So that's, you know, $379 versus 449 plus 50 shipping, 500 bucks. Uh, myself and many others have voiced uh, that you know, 450, 500 bucks for a tabletop pinball machine does seem pretty expensive. So if this is something that you're interested in picking up, obviously any kind of deal you can get on it um, is what matters, right? And get it at a more affordable price because, you know, 300 bucks or so, you know, I've made videos saying once this product got announced, I said, hey, man, 
what at games should do is sell this thing for like 299 bucks uh that would have been the sweet spot for me and we're what we're about 30 dollars higher also don't forget that this is national owner's day this is pre-orders for this pinball machine and what's interesting about all of this uh guys is the fact that um you know this is just the first batch of them i'm sure at games is going to try and get these uh, into retailers uh, it's a smaller product. Retailers love smaller products, smaller boxes, etc. So hopefully, hopefully you'll see this in the future at your Sam's Clubs, your Walmarts, your Kohl's, your Best Buys, your Amazons, all the people who At Games is now going to be partnering up with for distributors. So if you don't feel like ordering one on National Owners Day, guys, and you know, obviously you got to pay shipping, a lot of those other big box retailers, there's no shipping costs. So don't be afraid to wait and uh, see if it comes to a retailer in the future, in the future as well. Now, of course, with the um, with the bundles here, uh, this pinball machine comes with 50 games normally, right? Normally. But you're also going to get bonus games. You're going to get uh, 22 Gottlieb games uh, included. So you're talking 72 games uh, with the pinball machine, as well as the Vibs board. They're going to be giving you the Vibs board if you wanted to connect another device to run vpx or future pinball that's going to be included as well with this bundle so it's actually pretty good if you think about it if you plan on connecting i don't know i mean this is going to be a small tabletop pinball machine so when it comes to uh connecting a giant pc to play vpx and future pinball probably isn't going to make sense it's probably going to look silly next to this smaller pinball machine but you can connect your steam deck and run vpx and future pinball that way you can connect um there's micro pcs out there so i'm sure we'll find a way maybe we'll make some content on how to do all that i know john wagner uh did a video showing you guys how to connect your steam deck uh to get your future pinball uh stuff up and running but wanted to give you guys a heads up here we finally you know everyone's been asking me p-dubs can we are we gonna get some footage you got some footage a little sizzle reel of the micro pinball machine it wasn't the best in my opinion but at least we got to kind of see it kind of see the size of it and it's definitely you know it's definitely not a huge device it's definitely not a huge device uh when we take a look at the specs here i believe this thing has um a 15 inch play field a 15.6 inch play field and an 8 inch back glass so don't forget that guys this is definitely not an oversized device but Again, we're living in a world where this hobby is becoming more and more and more expensive. So, you know, if, you know, funds are tight or if you don't have the space or whatnot, and, you know, the, these larger pinball machines now, which for the full bundles, you know, they're pushing eight, nine hundred thousand dollars for these bundles to get the larger ones. Maybe something like this is a solution for some consumers out there. But that's what's going on with all this stuff. Definitely wanted to give you guys a quick update on the Legends Micro Pinball. Let me know what you think about it. Leave me your comments, feedback, reactions below. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.